What's up guys? It's Justin here back at the game with another short video. Today I'm just showing y'all these newer to me three ton heavy duty Daytona jacks. They are jack stands. I previously I've kind of been getting to the point where I'm going to retire them since I've had them for over four years now. They have treated me like no other jack stand, in my opinion, for the applications I've done and the fact that I never really let them sit under the car for less, no more less than three days long, and I have very light cars. Um, nothing really else to say about them other than <coughs> the Harbor Freight jacks have treated me extraordinarily well. And I'm going to go ahead and probably take these to the dump. Meanwhile, we'll be enjoying these since they are also upgraded from what these were. They have the locks in there. So then when you put it up like this, for example, and it's high up there, which I never really put it that high. Anyway, you can go ahead and lock it. So as you can see, you got that lock. and then. Got a little pin that goes in the other side, like that. Push it in. This stays intact, doesn't fall out like that. And to release it, it goes down. But what's nice about this pin is it won't be like this. And then you actually kick it, and then it goes down. Um, so that's the only thing I didn't really like about these is they didn't have a safety latch or pin, excuse me, safety pin to prevent from accidentally hitting this or something potentially. Which, at the end of the day, I never actually really have an issue with those things. Uh, mainly because I'm also extremely careful when I'm under the car. And I'm making sure that these are away from my body. Um, nonetheless, on even land, etc. But, they took great care of me and my cars. I never died laying under it. And, uh, that's also mainly because... I don't stay under there for long periods of time, probably. And I knew they weren't going to fail. Unlike a lot of people that hate on them. They say that they fail and all this and that. And to be brutally honest with you, it's either probably because they're potentially defective, just like any other jack stand brand or company could be. And the uh, fact that they probably don't use them within the ton ratings that they are called for. But again, that's just my opinion and my thoughts. But that's it for today's video. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.